Hi there, I'm Lucas and if you are following this channel, you may be asking yourself what's up with all this German greeting stuff going on lately. Basically, I wrote a book. Um, it's called Unter den Dingen, which means Below the Things. It's a collection of short stories and some sort of diaries that I wrote over the years as my form of creative outlet. It has nothing to do with filmmaking or anything like that or anything I usually do on this channel. For promotion purposes, I now read a few stories um, and put them on YouTube for people to listen to, to encourage them, of course, to buy my book. And I got asked by a lot of English-speaking people um, if this book will be available in English. Unfortunately, for me, it's a bit too hard to translate a whole book into English. And also, I'm not rich enough to pay someone to do it for me. But to show my appreciation for people who are interested in my craft, I translated at least one rather short story, but it's one of my favorites. And now I want to read it to you. If you're not that much into podcasts or audiobooks and you rather read yourself, I put a link in the description so you can download a PDF of uh, this short story and read it yourself. I don't own a printer, so I have to read it from my tablet. Um, this story is unfortunately, so to say, based on real events, and it's called Little Things. It's starting real slow. You don't even notice it. You wake up in the morning and everything seems like always. You go to bed in the evening and it's as usual. And yet it's different. You just don't see it, like the growing film of dust on a windowsill. It's the little things at first. The reaction when you come home is a little bit more muffled. The corners of her mouth stay down when you tell a great story from your workplace. It's nothing big, nothing wild. Who knows what's going on inside of someone else? Maybe it's just a bad day. It's so small that you don't even notice. You realize it only later on. In bed she lies further away now. That's also not that bad at first. Actually, we always wanted that. Because she always used to come so close. Because she was like 100 degrees. You couldn't sleep like that. So why would it be weird if she now gives you the space you always wanted? It just becomes strange when she encourages separate blankets so that it wouldn't be that tight anymore. When she suddenly doesn't react anymore when you approach her from behind to give her a hug, to give her a kiss on the cheek. When she's turning even further away when you try to make her the little spoon. It's not the time for you to ask what's going on. Because things are essentially going well and you haven't done anything wrong and you're supposed to give some room anyway. Maybe it's just a bad week. Years ago, you missed that exit. She gave you a nickname. Neither do you like that in general, nor did you like that name. But you didn't say anything at the time and after a few weeks and months you'd have really offended her. And you didn't want that, so you had that name. You had no idea what it would feel like if she used your first name again, when your nickname just doesn't exist anymore. But at least you have your own blanket again. You're starting to feel queasy. Have you missed another exit? Should you have talked about it earlier? Home is no longer the place you long for while you are at work. Actually, you only go there for the cat and because you can't go anywhere else. You can't talk to your friends about this. Not yet, at least. Everyone has a bad time occasionally. And when everything's in order again, you laugh and you love like ever before. Your friends, however, would keep that sour aftertaste. They see things differently, but not necessarily right. You also have to put yourself in your partner's shoes. It's not always easy with you, and in life there's more things than your partner. What are you so egoistic to refer all this to yourself? Likely the issue lies somewhere completely different. Someday you will come home. The masquerade is still in full swing. It is nothing. You behave normally. It is only a bad month. You come home. You embrace her from behind like every day. She shrugs away. She snorts. Is something wrong? First, there's silence. I think we need to talk. It's a cliché. But it's all good, so why be afraid of anything? Are you still happy? As I said, it's starting real slow. You don't even notice it at first. Just like her. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed reading or hearing the story as much as I did writing it. And uh, thank you as always for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.